ESEL CRCE conducted the idea competition in collaboration with IIC FRCRCE. Idea competition is a platform for students to present their innovative ideas and proposed solutions giving them a spirit and inspiration to start their entrepreneurial journey. This year, the event was conducted online wherein 23 teams participated out of which 11 teams made it to the second phase of the idea competition. Professors from FRCRCE served as the judges for the competition for both the phases. All teams came up with innovative ideas. The team with the maximum points will be declared as the winner of this competition. Greetings. The topic of our idea is edible cutlery, which is presented by me, that is Kavi Rajeshwaran and April David. This is the abstract procedure that we follow right from collection of leaves to transportation of our final product, which is edible cutlery. The first process is the collection of fallen leaves from the ground. This can be done by any person. We are particularly targeting rural areas due to large forest areas and large employability. The second process is cleansing of leaves with water. This is done to remove all the dirt particles present on the leaf. The third process is to dry the leaves. This is done to kill all bacteria present on the leaf. The fourth and the most important procedure is to make a paste of the leaves along with water and honey. This is an important procedure to increase the taste and nutrition. The next procedure is to create intricate patterns of the mixture formed and drying the patterns. We can create various shapes and sizes of spoons, plates, bowls, etc. After forming, it is sun dried for two days. The next procedure is transportation of the cutlery from rural to urban areas or vice versa in eco-friendly packaging to increase awareness about the three R's which is reduce, reuse and recycle. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Riyari Ravankar and our team name is Matrix and our project is real-time sign language to text converter. So the int means the deaf and dumb people communicate with each other with the help of sign language. One of the sign languages American Sign Languages. So in which they represent their hand to express their thoughts. So the, our aim is to create an application that will take raw images of hand gesture of American Sign Languages and output the appropriate uh, American text symbol of that hand gesture. So, so our model is to create a CA <coughs> neural network which will take raw images and output in the appropriate uh, uh, text format so in which we are using convolutional neural network and artificial neural networks so basically we are using a convolutional neural network with two two convolutional neural networks of 3 by 3 into 32 filters so we are uh, processing the data with the help of two convolutional network following by three neural network with having of dense 128 96 and 27 and <coughs> we are creating an application which will take raw image real time raw image of hand gesture and output that appropriate uh, result on the screen so this is our main project and so we have trained a model in keras means intense uh, python so in which we have first used two convolutional layers followed by three neural network layers means dense layers with 128.96.64 and with the help of OpenCV we are capturing real time data from camera and predicting with the help of that model so this is our prototype so when we run So this is our project, so as we see 
hands the appropriate answer is showing now it's uh, now it's not correct we have to troubleshoot some problems uh, we may thinking increasing the epoch or batch size or maybe increasing the neural network will increase the accuracy or maybe we can use different more we can group out the data into many groups so in which we can develop three different different models for particular group so this is our prototype <coughs> so thank you फटाफट चढ़ने के टाइम स्लिप हो जाते हैं आप ऊपर जाने पर कभी कभी साफ रहते हैं स्नेक रहते हैं जो इंसेक्ट स्नेक भी रहते हैं कोकोनट ट्री में स्नेक रहते हैं जो हनी बी भी रहते हैं हनी भी ज्यादा रहते हैं कोकोनट ट्री के ऊपर सो वो भी आप लोग जाने के टाइम वो भी आ सकते हैं बाइक का ऑफ क्लाइंग फिजिकली क्लाइंग इट कैन बी विद क्लॉज एंड दिस कैन हेल्प इन इजिंग द क्लाइंग बट इफ द पर्सन हैज टू गो अप इट इज ऑलवेज अ रिस्क स्टिल Stats state that 41.3 percent volunteers with experience greater than 30 years fell down from trees, resulting in severe to fatal grade injuries. The histories of accidental cuts from special knives which were used and those of skids or slips during the monsoon season were, were around 12 percent. After researching a lot and rejecting the previous designs, we finally decided to go with the hexagonal frame with four wheels initially and two springs attached on each wheel with the intent to create a diameter adjusting mechanism. These freely moving springs are inserted via a rod which will reduce the unnecessary play of the spring due to the reaction force applied by the tree. We use nuts and bolts to lock the wrapped unit around the bark. The DC motors used here for the upward movement of the wheels are of 10 kg torque and 10 rpm each and the springs used here are of compression type with calculated and appropriate tension. The tension of the springs is chosen in such a way that it should be enough to hold the bot in a stationary state at any height but at the same time it shouldn't be too much to hinder the upward and downward movement of the wheels due to extreme force. To demonstrate the cutting mechanism, the prototype robotic arm is built using two aluminium links and a rotating base. It is composed of stepper motors, a servo and a high RPM DC motor with 20,000 RPM and the end effector has a cutting wheel attached to it. We use spur gears to amplify the torque of the existing motors as we need high torque to handle the load as well as the jerks received while cutting. We have also trained a model for coconut identification based on SSD ResNet and have trained it on 4000 images for 25,000 steps. The following are the hardware requirements for our project. These are the software requirements for our project. These are some of the ways in which the solution can be scaled up that is by making the bot fully automatic for complete elimination of manpower or this idea can be extended to harvest all veggies which are cut down using cutting or plucking mechanisms which are situated at certain height.